Welcome to the Saturday Live Show. We have an exciting show for you today with a bunch of guests and lots of videos. And I say we have a show today because I got to tell you, this show would not be what it is without the moderators and the YouTube community that help support this channel. So I really appreciate those individuals that have come on the show and have shown their support even after their appearance on the show. They keep coming back in. I know we have a bunch of individuals in here today and just want to thank you for coming in and supporting the channel. So thanks very much. We have a bit of a new look to the uh, live show today. Hope everyone likes it. Please put your comments in the live chat and moderators, please delete any negative comments. <laughs> That's the power I have. Only positive comments I'll see after the show. I'll replay it. Wow, so positive on the new look of this live show. It's really great. And the moderators probably deleted 50 comments. <laughs> That's okay. All right. So thank you to today's moderators. Appreciate that. We got a all the A-team in today. Really appreciate that. Appreciate all that you do each week to kind of keep the chat clean so I can just focus on the guests and uh, the show. Before we get started, live show is copyright protected against uh, any third party. So just wanted to kind of call that out. If you want to use any of the material today, just reach out to me. That would be great. Today's guests, here we go. Jiu-Jitsu Passport and Miley Story. Ooh, so excited to have them on the show. Some great pre-interviews with Alex. Just spoke to Miley. Wow, she's looking very, very nice today. I said a sue makma. So looking very good today, Miley. Wow. Wait till you see this, guys. If you're coming in, you're like, oh, it's this Richard Traveler guy again. I don't want to listen to him for 90 minutes. Well, wait till you see Miley. She's coming on at the 15-minute mark. So if you're watching the replay, you can forward to the 15-minute mark. <laughs> you can avoid all of my, uh, you know, crappy jokes. <laughs> And just go right to the interview. <laughs> so now after our interview with uh, Jiu Jitsu Passport and Miley Story, we're going to be taking a break. Then we come back with Vlogger News. And guess who's joining me today? Me today. So we have Key, Life After Kids with Key, will be joining us at the hour mark to run through Vlogger News. And she's bringing in a vlogger that we're going to spotlight. So a friend of hers that we're going to actually spotlight in the Vlogger News segment. So please stay tuned for that. Don't check out after the interview. I see sometimes I get a little bit of a dip down in the viewing audience. I know who you are. I'm looking at you. I know who you are. So stay for the vlogger news because we've got some exciting vloggers to profile. Some you may never have heard of. So let me go to the chat because I know we got a lot of individuals in here today. Got uh, Dave from Gotta Love Thailand saying hello to uh, Life After Kids with Key Williams. Got E.T. in the house. Your mojo is here as well. Let's see, mojo, Mr. Mitch. Moderator to the stars here. Gator Jake. There we go. Hello, Gator Jake. Nice to have you in here. Nice new avatar. I don't think I've seen that one before. That's very cool. And we got Crew Muan joining us as well. Tommy J, the producer of the show, joining us as well. Brock's Travels. He was in early. I think Brock was in like a day early. <laughs> Tell Brock, uh, you still have 24 hours. He said, I don't want to miss it. I'm staying up 24 hours just so I can see the intro. <laughs> got a lot of fans of the intro to the show. So I appreciate that. Everyone that leaves comments, love your intros, love your video clips. I only spend about 10 to 20 hours on those each week. <laughs> so thank you for commenting, saying you like them because it does take a lot of time. Uh, Big Daddy L saying hello to Life After Kids with Key Williams. Good to see you in there. Great. And let's see who else we got in here. I know we got uh, Ken coming in here saying hello to Greeny. So that means that Greeny's in here somewhere. So let me see. And I saw a little shout out to Icy as well. So I thought Icy was in there. Here we go. Got Greeny Travels in the house. Thank you, Brian, for joining us today. I think you're coming to us from Satahip in Thailand. So appreciate you making the time, man. I've heard that Brian actually watches this on his big screen TV. So that's great. I wonder what I look like in a 65 or 70 inch TV. I don't know. Have to play it back on a big TV. Check it out. Maybe not so good. Maybe you should be watching this on a 20 inch monitor. Shrink it down a little bit. Then when Miley comes on, you can go to the 65 inch monitor, see it in a big screen. <laughs> so great. So we got a lot of individuals coming in today. 
Right there we go. Fa, 1985, joining us today. So Fa was on the show last week with James, Chocolate Man in Thailand. Fa's got a great channel of her own. Fa, 1985, does a lot of great live streams and shorts. So I got to tell you, she did a live stream recently where she was getting a new tattoo. Oof, man, that looked painful. It was going on for about three hours. So I would say if you want to see someone in pain, go check out that tattoo live stream. <laughs> I think it's still available for replay. You can check it out. Uh, Mr. Mitch saying great shirt. So one thing I did bring back with the reboot of the show is the t-shirts are back and we got a lot of inventory here. I got about uh, eight weeks worth of shirts. So we're picking out a new shirt each week. So this is the one that I picked for this week. Good or bad. Great. All right. Daz Dragon in the house saying hello to everyone. That's great. Day State Fox. Nice to have Day State coming here from the UK joining us today. Stay away from my Lambo this week. Oops, too late. <laughs> That's great. Got a lot of individuals in the chat here. Let's go down to the bottom. See if I did. Make sure I didn't miss anyone. Great. Looking good. Let me clear this one out. There we go. Perfect. Great. So one of the things I wanted to do is I actually wanted to go to Thailand because I did get a message from Lucas that Lucas wanted to join the live stream real quick. Lucas is from Rides for Kicks doing daily vlogs in Thailand. Let's go to Lucas. Hey, Ride for Kicks here. Check it out. Watching the Richard Travel Show on my bike. So that's appreciated. You know why? Because he's getting the word out. And the reason I mentioned that is subscriber check. All right, here we go. This channel is at 9,952 subscribers, 48 away from the 10K mark. And I'm quite excited about that. I couldn't do it without all of you coming in here and subscribing and viewing the live show. Really appreciate that. I will let you know, for those of you that are interested that like edited videos, I sort of took down my Richard Returns to Thailand video series for a little while. Um, really no reason. It's just I was focusing on the live show. And I thought maybe with the push to 10,000 subscribers, I should put all the videos back up. So maybe that would be smart. So I put up the Richard Returns to Thailand video series. It's a 10-part series chronicling my return to Thailand back in 2020 before the pandemic broke out. So I would say if you like any of the videos, go check that series out. I think the moderators will put a link to that uh, series for you. I did create a playlist for it. So if you wanna just kind of click on the first part and kind of go through them all, um, that's an easy way to do it. And that would be great. Um, I will let you know, so next week we have Flora and Note coming on the show. So Flora and Note's been on a couple of times before. Their channel's really exploded. We're gonna profile them on the Vlogger News at the 60 minute mark. So we say just uh, be on the lookout for them coming on the show next week. And I got the schedule there for us. The, Big call out here is for the special Christmas Eve live show. So Saturday is actually on the 24th of December and we have Gotta Love Thailand coming on the show and we're going to have some other vloggers come on as well. So hopefully it'd be kind of like an extravaganza similar to my 50th live show. So that would be, be pretty nice. If you want to be a guest on the show, feel free just to email me at richardtravel at gmail.com. And that's it for the scrolling comments. And we've got... 20 seconds in Thailand saying hello to Day State Fox. Rob is on the schedule and excited to have Rob back. So Rob's a big supporter of the channel. I really appreciate it when uh, Rob can come on the show. There are always funny conversations. I feel like when I have Rob on the show, I can just relax and just have a chit chat. He's so funny. He's got so much stuff to talk about. I've been, I actually think Rob was one of the first Thailand vloggers that I listened to when I started traveling to Thailand. So when he kind of relocated from the US to Thailand, I started watching his vlogs and just really good stuff. So. Appreciate that. Gator Jake, thanks for putting up the link to the Richard Return series. Appreciate that. And you got it, Rob. Appreciate that, man. That is great. So one of the things I wanted to talk about was, you know, I talked a little bit about all the hours I put into the show. Well, sometimes things don't go so well. But I'll tell you. So on the pre-interviews especially. So I had a great pre-interview with Alex. I actually had one with Keisha as well. So, and I had a little bit of trouble with my green screen. So enough said. Let's check out life. what life is like before the live show goes live.
Pequim. So I think the funny takeaway from that is no matter what happens before the show, this is the person you get on the live show. I'll just come and, you know, show up like nothing's ever happened. So that was a bit of a debacle. Luckily, the green screen went backwards and not forwards into me. That would not have been good. But I'll tell you, I almost messed up my green screen there. That was pretty close. Did a little bit of damage. Had to fix it up a little bit. But uh, that's the kind of stuff that happens. <laughs> So I'd say anyone that has a green screen, make sure on your checklist of things to do before you expand the green screen is put the feet out so it doesn't tip over. That's a very important thing. Um, and Mr. Mitch was actually on the pre-interview with Kiki when that happened. <laughs> He's like, that's a keeper. And I got to tell you, so that's not the only time that's happened to me. It's happened about five times. That's the only time that I got it on camera. So <laughs> I was happy to finally get that on camera. So he thought it was pretty funny when it happened, and it was not so funny at the time, but was funny later. <laughs> great. Let me go to the chat here, see who we got going on. So we got coming in, got some great people coming into the live chat. Appreciate that. And <laughs> green gaffer tape will fix the screen. Well, that's probably true. <laughs> that's true. And that's what I was thinking about. It's like, I need some green duct tape to fix any like holes in the screen or that kind of thing. So that would be great. So let me do this before we kind of get into bringing on. Uh, jiu Jitsu Passport and Miley Story. I wanted to kind of go through the exchange rate. And so about the same, I think it was a little bit down for the USD. So we're down to 37.61, British pound up to 42.51, Australian dollar at 24.20. So it was a little disappointing to see that the uh, USD has dipped below 38. But I think if you talk to anyone, it's probably, we weren't, weren't surprised that it dipped below 38. It's kind of unheard of territory. I think I've told the story a couple of years back. 36 was really the benchmark. You know, anything 35 or greater was awesome. 36 was one of those special times. So to see it go above 38 for a little while was definitely a big deal. So that is the exchange rate there. So I got to tell you, so I'm so excited to bring on Alex and Miley from the Jiu Jitsu Passport and Miley story. So got turned on to Alex's channel probably a couple weeks ago and was just blown away, like great content, great video editing, um, great music, really has a sense of pace for the video. So I saw that and then I saw that his partner Miley has a channel as well. And I saw that the dog was heavily spotlighted in the channel. So we're going to talk to them about that today. And I'm very excited to have them on. Let's play their little short intro and let's bring Miley and Alex into the live. Alex and Miley, welcome to the Saturday live show. Hello, Richard. How you doing? Hi. Good, Good to meet you, Miley. You on. Yes, my pleasure. My pleasure. How's it going tonight? It's going well. We went to see uh, a movie. We actually met up with James and went to watch Black Adam. Oh, so I got to ask. So no spoilers, but I got to ask you, how was that? Because that was on my list of things to see. It was. What do you think of the movie? Good. I like it. Yeah. Because I'm a fan superhero <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's funny I, I ask you that because i heard that it was not so good like it was very disappointing and i was so excited to see it but you're saying it's worth seeing right good action movie i wasn't expecting much i was i was like all right it's a rock he's kind of funny he's entertaining let's go check it out and i wasn't expecting much but it was it was actually pretty good and make sure you stay for the post credit scene because that's that's interesting oh that's good to know that's good to know. Yes. Yeah, so now, you know what's one. funny? When, so interesting thing about seeing movies in Thailand, at least for me, was they play the Thai national anthem before the movie mm. starts. They're still doing that, right? So the first yeah. time I went, I was in one of those special movie theaters where you recline the chair and you get very comfortable. That's actually what we did tonight. Yeah? Same thing? Recline, yeah, easy? It was, a, it was Miley's first time. We had a blanket. You know, it was... Uh, full-on recliner you had a little buffet before the movie yeah it's pretty good man yeah that's what we did yeah well it's funny because when it happened to me i was relaxing i had no idea you were supposed to stand for that so i got like the mm. tie elbow in the side i had to stand up real quick and it was tough because you're relaxing yeah, yeah. with your popcorn and stuff but yeah so i learned very early on like get ready to stand <laughs> So great. Yeah, so I got to tell you, Alex, so I think you were a little nervous to come on the live show because I, I understand you did a little bit of a, like a practice session before 
you came on the show. I don't, I don't think you were aware of this, but my moderators, they're everywhere and they see everything. So they actually found, yeah, they found this little hidden clip of you uh, practicing. Let's take a look. Hello, people. Welcome to the Jiu Jitsu Passport Morning Show. Am I doing it right, Richard? Is this the way? This is the way I'm supposed to speak. And, and am I sitting properly? You talking to me? You talking to me? Where are you located? Well, who the hell are you talking? You talking to me? Welcome to the Jiu Jitsu Passport Morning Show. Oh, yeah? Huh? Okay. Good morning. How's this? Well, Alex, all your hard work is paying off today. You look great. I got to ask, who leaked that tape? <laughs> I got a crack team of moderators, and I'm sworn by secrecy. I can't say if it was Day State Fox or Robert Mackin Asia or Tommy J or Mr. Mitch. I can't say. <laughs> mm, you just gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> so great. So I love that because I, I was introduced to your show early on. I felt like you really have a great sense of pace with your videos, with the music. I think Miley as well. Does Miley influence you with the music you choose in your videos? Uh, yeah, she's she's the brains behind, the brain and the beauty. I just, I just have a camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miley makes some great shorts on her channel, Miley yeah. Story, right? So you do a lot of videos of Blue and yourself, yes. funny videos, dancing. A lot of dancing videos in there. I went through them all, Miley. I saw all your shorts. Very good. Good stuff. Thank you. Miley, why start a YouTube channel for you? Why did you want to start your channel? Why, right? Yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> because I see him is like, look fun. I just want to try. But first first start is not easy just like when i talk is not easy for me when i see alex he do he make some video he talk a lot just like blah 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 and then when i see camera i feel like what i'm gonna say like i forget everything <laughs> <laughs> that happens it happens but now alex you said when miley was first coming on your channel she was very shy but now she's part of the channel she's very vocal talking a lot she's laughing because oh, she yeah, knows it's yeah. true like she's so funny was she's it nice to see that out. change yeah it was uh, it was good she she i mean she's in real life that is the way she is you know like the way you see on the videos that, that is that that is how we are we joke around a lot we make fun of each other we we very you know playful of course we have some issues but uh the majority of the time she just we just even right before we go to sleep, we're just laughing. Like we spend the whole most of the day just laughing on yeah. everything and anything. <laughs> you know, so maybe we like crazy people because we laugh <laughs> <laughs> all the time. Yeah, that is true. Well, it's true. Like a lot, my, many many people watching our videos, maybe they're gonna think uh, they're not like that. Like it's kind of like an act, right? So that's what I've noticed when I'm driving the car. I have some videos of us just talking together in the car because I just let the camera run and, and we don't like, we don't rehearse it. Like somebody was making fun of me because of the glove comment when Miley was going like this. Yeah, I yeah, I saw it. that. <laughs> and I said, like, I didn't tell her to do that. She was just trying to be funny. And then my response was just like, 
it popped in my head and I just said it. So that's basically us in a nutshell, like that's all day great. long. <laughs> oh, Daz Dragon saying, you guys are too fun together. We love Daz. Daz great, right? Oh, yeah, he's great. Yeah, he's a great guy. I just met him off. Good. I just met him a few days ago. Yeah, for the first time. He actually gave me a leash for, for Blue. So I saw I that on the video. Cool. Yeah, that was cool. Is it true that yeah. Daz is actually seven feet tall? I heard the guy is huge. He's at least seven one. Seven one. Okay. <laughs> Got look. Maybe he's doing yoga. He's getting <laughs> taller as he gets older. Oh, yeah, exactly. He's stretching up. <laughs> so Gator Jake's saying Miley's cooking videos make him hungry. Ooh, Miley's good cook. <laughs> That's what I've heard. Man, she's amazing. She just cooked a couple of steaks before we came on. We ate steak tonight. Oh, yeah, and it was man. perfect. That sounds great. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. She, what she, kind of steak? Can cook. Uh, ooh, what what do we get? Rib like what Australian is, beef ribeye, right? or something? Ribeye? Oh. I forgot. We just I just picked. Yeah. She just picked them from the shell. There was two yeah, steaks. We got them. She cooked them. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like to get a good steak in Thailand, you probably got to cook it up yourself because you can choose the beef and it's not going to be real thin. Mm. So I'm sure Miley does yeah. a great job. Probably marinates it oh, with a bunch it. of spices. It, it was perfect. Man. So it's interesting because one of the things I did, you know, looking at your channel, I watched all of Miley Story's video. I watched all of your videos, Alex, on Jiu-Jitsu Passport. And it's funny because you have some with the dog in there, right? So you do profile uh -huh. the dog a little bit, quite a bit. I saw there was one that you had where he was actually watching TV. So <laughs> Yes. He was actually he, – he was watching himself because before – before we release a video, we watch it on the TV because it's a big screen TV and we can catch any glitches or anything that we might not like before we release it. And then he would just sit there and, and he was on it and he just started watching him, himself on the TV. So I got to tell you, so I'm pretty good with picking up languages. You know, I picked up Thai pretty okay. easily. I've picked up Tagalog, you know, Philippine language, wow. pretty good. I also can sort of translate a little bit of dog. Yeah. Mm. A little secret talent of mine. So what I did is I looked at that video where Blue was actually watching himself on the TV. He was actually saying a couple of things. So I took okay. my, I took a liberty on myself to put some captions in the video. Let's take a look at Blue watching himself on the TV. Okay. So Big Daddy's yeah. saying, LOL. Oh, oh, we got blue. We got blue. Here we go. Here, Jake, Richard, superpowers. Yeah, see, I can speak dog. Hi. Hello, blue. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> I speak a little bit of dog. I can understand it all, of course. So let's see. Is he not yeah, talking we, to me uh, he's, he's a big part of our lives. And so, you know, he's, he's in the videos. Yeah, he's great. I think he steals a lot of the scenes. I mean, there's a lot of great videos of Miley with the blue growing up like i didn't see any of those until i was reviewing your channel i saw blue was like a little puppy so i don't know that, was, really, seen those. Was, great. that was what three months ago yes wow <laughs> gross that quick huh oh yeah yeah he's uh he's just i think he's turning six months now so i think he's gonna be a little bit of a big he's not gonna be he's not like a giant german shepherd but he's gonna be a big he's gonna be pretty big yeah miley did you grow up around dogs did you have dogs before? Did you grow up or? Uh Yes. When I'm a little kid, I have three dogs, but that die. I cry like two days. Wow. But that, oops, that's still puppy, but that die. Oh. oh, my God. So I just don't have dog after so that die. That's the wrong question. That's the wrong question. Kind of a downer now. <laughs> Let's go to the chat. Oh, well done, Doctor Doolittle. Okay, great. Blue right, is awesome. Blue's gonna go. Thank you. Blue's going. Okay. He wants to get great. out. So I want to talk to you about a bunch of things. First of all, Alex, you got a new uh -huh. piece of equipment. I've noticed. 
I'm big on this 360 camera. I want to talk to you oh, about yes. this. Yeah, why are you using this? What got you to use this? Yeah, this is great. So for those of you that don't know, it's the ability to sort of hold the, hold the camera. It deletes the stick that you're stop, holding. Stop, stop. 360 degree like view. Just give me so, Tell us about that the camera a little bit. What, what does it do for you? Uh, so when I started, I had the Go, the GoPro, the GoPro 10. And then I liked it. I like the GoPro 10. It was super nice. Uh, you can do a lot with it. And, you know, so then I saw a video of a guy walking like a dinosaur. <laughs> it was a super like super good, like really close up of his face and he was doing this and I thought it was the funniest thing, right? I think you sent it to me, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, maybe. Yeah, maybe Miley sent it to me and I thought it was hilarious. So I was like, what is what is he using to do that? So with the 360, not only records all around the, the actual, the selfie stick, it disappears from the video. So if I'm shooting, if I, if I bring it up all the way up, like it, go, it goes up to up to three meters. Wow. So it kind of looks like a, like a mini drone is following me. And I like, I like being creative. So when I saw that, I had a, I was like, I gotta, I gotta have this, this camera. Yeah. And I think that kind of speaks to what we talked about on the pre-interview a couple of days ago around your background as an artist. So for those that don't yes. know, you want to talk a little bit about that, like your artist uh, background? Uh, well, it's not really a background. I'm just, I'm very creative and I'm, I'm artistic. A lot of people like, I, I'm not a professional, but I, I do, I like to draw. I like to paint. Um, I did some airbrushing. I can custom make uh, shoes, sneakers, boots, clothes. Uh, and a lot of people seem to like it. A lot of people seem to like my art. So I'm kind of somewhat of an artist and I'm very creative. So I kind of put that creativity into my videos like the, my 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 artistic drawing skills and how i see what i draw or the paint is what i see when i make videos and i try to make i try to make basically a moving drawing <laughs> if that makes sense yeah, <laughs> i no, want you to enjoy question. almost everything that i show mr tidy garden saying miley sing a song for richard <laughs> You can't do that. Though, really. That's so bad. That would be bad. I got her. I got her singing. I think she. Uh, she was singing on the la on the on last night videos at the yes. end. Yeah, towards the end of the video, she kind of sang a little bit. So you got a little yeah. of that in. I think. Yeah, you were singing today, yeah. Right? today. When we were driving, you were singing or no? No. Uh, I gotta check. I think you did. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Funny. Yeah. Miley, yeah. Miley singing in the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because I think that's one of the things I talked about. It's like, so what do you do? What's the vision for your videos? Like, do you kind of storyboard it? Do you think about what you want to get out of it? I think you kind of do a little bit of all the above, right? You kind of talk, you think about what you want the video to be, right? Before you go out and start filming. I'm a, I'm a big, I'm a little bit structure, but I'm very fast. If I have, if, if, like I said, I'm an artist. So let's say I have a, something in my mind that I want to paint, I don't have to preset it. I can just take up the pencil or the pen or, the, or crayons or whatever and I start drawing. So basically that's how my video goes. I have an idea in my mind, okay, we're gonna go buy some chicken or we're gonna do something, right? I have to make it kind of a little bit interesting. So what part of me buying a chicken is gonna be interesting and then what I do is uh, I just, uh, when, I, when I have all the footage, doing the editing is when I do kind of what seems to be what I think is going to look good or it's going to be kind of funny or entertaining and things like that. So, you know, that's, that's how I do it. Do you have Miley take a look at like a rough cut of your video before you sort of finish it up and publish it? You show it to her? Yes. We, like I was telling you earlier, what we do is that's when Blue was watching himself on TV. So what I do is I, I do everything on my phone. I do all the, all the editing on my phone and then uh, I up, make it unlisted and they will watch it on the big screen, me and Miley together. And then if it's good, you want to see how you want to see how we post it. It's kind of corny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> okay. So right before we post the video, right. I, I, I gotta, yeah, it's kind of cheesy. It's kind of corny. I'm going to get a lot of, I'm going to get a lot of, <laughs> but, 
<laughs> she came out with it. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. She came out with it. So <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> she says magic. So okay. So we got the phone. We watch it on TV. It's good to go. Okay, babe. We're gonna release it. We're gonna release the video. Show show Richard what we do. And and this finger pause it. <laughs> Every single That's video is great. like that. That is great. And it's worked out so far, right? Channel's doing great. You're exploding, so. man. I think, I think the magic is working. <laughs> yeah. Gator Jake was saying that he's followed you for quite some time. It was your creativity that intrigued him to watch. So, Thank you, Jake. Thank you, Gator. Yeah. You, you're going to say something real quick? When uh, that, is, that is the one thing that kind of, um, like, ga Gator is the people that kind of gave me encouragement to keep going because they noticed those little things that I would do, I was doing with my videos, the editing, the little transitions and things like that. And that, that's, that, I take a lot of pride on that. But even if it's a really small transition, it takes me a little, a little bit to make it perfect in my eyes. So when, when somebody like Gator Jake or, or a subscriber or a, somebody com comments and they make a comment on that, it makes me so proud, you know, cause that takes so much pride on that. Yeah, it's interesting because I think that's great that people see that. And it's it's something that I can kind of relate to you on in that when I'm doing videos for the show, I'll sometimes try to put a time limit on myself saying, OK, I'm going to edit for one hour. And, you know, as well mm -hmm. as I do, like one hour goes by so fast. And often exactly. like I was putting together a video for you guys last night with that I'll play a little bit later. And it was a bit long. And the toughest thing as a creator, I think you have to do is to chop your video. I call it chop your video down, edit the video down and like. Do you struggle with that as well? Like, I got to take this scene out. This is funny with Miley, but I got to take this one out because it's too long. Or you just kind of let it run. No, I, I do a lot of cuts. Um, um, I, if you notice, my videos are very, uh, like, uh, you know what? I, my goal since I started, once well, I started going, was to make it as fast. I want to tell a story as fast as I can without making it seem like I doing, I'm doing it too fast, if that makes sense. Yeah. I, yeah. I, wanna, I want the, my videos, if somebody's watching it, to watch the video, and it's maybe like 12 minutes, 14 minutes, and for them to say, oh, that was, wow, that was kind of fast, but it wasn't. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, it ab absolutely does. And I think it talks with Chocolate Man's in here, all oh, the things I can do with this screen recording, internet gold. How dare you? Copyright strike him right away. Moderator's copyright claim, Chocolate Man. <laughs> no, I think it's funny because what, one thing that you're doing there is you have a sense of pace for the videos. Like you get the music in there to sort of speed up things. You have the mm -hmm. live commentary. You bring Miley in for some funny jokes and stuff like that. I mean, is that difficult? I mean, most people don't get that sense of timing that you have with the I, video. I don't want to sound. I don't want to sign. I don't want to sound arrogant, <laughs> but that's not hard for me to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've been told. I'm a, I've been told I'm a funny guy and I'm, I'm a, a, a long time ago, a friend of mine told me I'm a very good storyteller. And that was my first time ever hearing people say that, right? Besides the people that make movies, because that's one of the like people that make good movies are great storytellers, right? So a friend of mine years ago told me that it, uh, his name is Tim, his name is Red Dog. And James knows him. And he's actually the first guy that told me years ago to start a YouTube because I was a good storyteller. Just I was telling him a story and he was like, he was just asking me, you know, whatever. And then uh, so for the pacing thing, also, I'm told I'm kind of funny. So comedy is good pacing. Right. So I, I kind of I throw that in, in my video. So it's, it's, not, it's not hard for me to it's not hard for me to hear a beat. And say, oh, this beat is perfect for this scene. Yeah. So yeah, it's a little bit that, that part is a little bit easy for me. You know what's you know what's really hard for me? What's that? Flowing. <laughs> oh, so so it's not kind of all all over the place. It kind of has a flow to it. The video. Yes. Wow, that's difficult for you. Why is that so hard for you? Just it's something you struggle with. Flowing when I'm making a video is difficult for me because English is not my first language, right? So when I'm speaking, sometimes I have to enunciate my words or I have to think of a word in my mind. In my, wait, is that the right word? Even though I'm speaking English for a while, I didn't grow up. I was born in the States. I was born in New York, but I didn't grow up in the States. So 
when I speak English, I, I didn't grow up speak. I didn't go to school. You know, I, I, I went to school in Mexico. So learning English, I learned English watching TV. <laughs> So sometimes I struggle with that. I struggle with just just flow flow with my words. That's what I mean. So when I'm making a video, sometimes I make a let's say I say good morning today is Saturday. I might say that four times just to make sure when I'm making the video, okay, that sounded better. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So Daz is saying good storyteller or BSer. <laughs> Both. <laughs> That's calling you out. No, it's so funny. Are great storytellers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I think so. One of the things you mentioned, like English is not your first language. I'll, I'll tell you. So one of the, the funny scenes with Miley is Miley talks about, I think you asked her, hey, how'd you get so good at English? And Miley's like, I have a good boyfriend who speaks English. Right. But I guess, Miley, have you taken any English classes or just you just pick up English? Is it easy for you? Did you go to school for English or no? No, I'm just learning for myself. I learning in Google, and then I ha before I I working in Bangkok, but I moved to Pattaya and then have money money. Uh, what is it called? Custom customers. Yes, customer she, money customer. Let me let me explain what she mean by customers before people start taking it to the left <laughs> she was a bar she's a barber she cuts hair so where gotcha. the barber shop where she used to work a lot of uh foreigners go there to get a haircut yes. so she had to speak english I a lot when she was cutting hair with yeah. them like everyone is come come in the shop and then that cannot speak thai and then i, I just like oh my god it's my first day in in that shop, I feel like, oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's hard. You like don't really know how to yeah. speak the language. Yeah, but you I don't it up. understand, but I I can understand little, but I'm very very shy. Um, and my friend that work and they look at me like this, like they cut hair and look at me like this, like like this. And I'm just like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, she learned all the curse words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so great. Oh, so funny. And it's so funny what Miley says, like, she's shy naturally. And Alex, you and I talked about this, like, being an introvert yourself. You kind of were yeah, to yourself. Yeah. Myself as well. Like, so, and people find that funny. Like, wow, Richard, you know, you have, like, a live show, making jokes, gregarious. Mm -hmm. But I'm not like this in real life. I think that's why 20 seconds in Thailand, Thailand, Rob and I get along so well because we're sort of introverts and I feel like uh, YouTube is a nice way for us to kind of spotlight the best of our personality. Do you feel like that's the case for you, Alex? You kind of come out of your shell in front of the camera? Yeah, I, I, I kind of, even from the first day, I, I thought it was going to be, I, I really thought that part was going to be hard, like being in front of the camera and speaking or me just being in the camera. I, I really thought it was going to be, that was going to be the hardest part. And it wasn't, it kind of, I don't know. It was like, it, it made me feel, I, I was comfortable. It's just, it was just, it kind of, it was kind of felt natural for some reason. Almost like I was speak, I grew up an only, I'm an only child. So I talked to myself a lot. <laughs> so, so when I, when I have the camera, it's just like it's the same, like I'm talking to myself. So it was, it was like a natural transition from talking to myself to talking to the camera. So yeah, that was, that was it. <laughs> yeah. Tommy J saying Miley is so great. She's not shy to speak English. I think Miley, what? Pasa, pasa English, uh, Makma. Say it right. Gator Jake says, I speak perfect Floridian. <laughs> and Paul Cousins coming in and say, howdy. And Mr. Mitch says, I'm an English teacher on Soy 6. That's great. Thank you for that, Mr. Mitch. You're now banned as a monitor, moderator. <laughs> uh, and Fox Travel's coming in there. That's great. So I think that's Try wonderful. It. I mean, it's, it's so interesting, Alex, because when you started up your channel, did you think like it's going to be Miley and myself on Jiu-Jitsu Passport? Or were you kind of thinking like it's going to be my own personal thing? I met Miley before I started my YouTube two or three months uh i started in december and i met you in october right when you when you sent me that first message that you wanted to go on a date with me Ooh, no! <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> so I met Miley like two months before I started my YouTube. We were, we were really good friends. We, we were friends for at least five months? Or? Yes, four or five months. Yeah, we were friends for like five months before we started dating. So we didn't start dating until January, February, March. Three months until I started my YouTube. So yeah, and three months did, after that's when... Did you meet her getting a haircut? Were you getting a haircut from Miley? Yeah. <laughs> You so I'd be going have, every week. I would go every yeah. week to get a haircut. If I had like someone like Miley cutting my hair how do every we week. Talk to each other the first time. Tell him. <laughs> how do we talk the first time? You like me in my. What is match? Have... We match in Tinder. Yes, in okay. Tinder. Oh, we okay. match in Tinder, right? But but who who send the first message? Me. Okay. Because I see you. I see you come to get haircut, and then I just said, "Ah, oh, are you that guy? You come get haircut like two day ago or not?" And he said, "Oh, you, you the one in the shop. You, you are uh, hairdresser, right? What they call hairdresser? Yes." Hmm. And then I say yes, and after that, I'm not. I'm not. I don't have time to in Tinder too much, but he start take. The <laughs> <laughs> I send her. I send her a couple messages. She did not reply, so I left her alone. Oh. Right. <laughs> and then I started going there. She started cutting my hair. We started hanging out. She was doing her thing. I was doing my thing. And then next thing you know, here we are. He cut with me, and then he give. Uh, 200 for haircut and then 200 or 400 for tip. Whoa. I'm a good, I'm a generous. <laughs> what did I say in Thai? Good heart, good heart. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's yeah, so the haircut great. was like 200 and I would tip her 200. Yeah, sounds reasonable to me. I probably yes. would say like a thousand. Hey, a thousand. What are you doing for dinner? <laughs> And then he tried to buy something like buy shoot buy buy shoot for Valentine's Day. Yeah, I got her a pair of shoes from Valentine's. And buy me some fruit. Fruit. Yes. Fruit. Yeah. He bring me every day. No, I don't bring it. <laughs> Not every day, but just like three day, two day come. If I get a haircut, either I will give her a tip, right? Or I will bring her some fruits or a little snack, like some chocolate, some, you know, some pineapples, whatever, right? That's what I did. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't show up every day at her work. <laughs> and I, I get I have COVID uh, last year, right? And then he just, he only one, like, worry about me, come to see me, like, hey, what you want? Blah, blah, blah. What do yeah, you she, want? What do you want to eat today? Yeah, she was in quarantine because she had COVID. So she had to be locked up, right, in her apartment. She had an apartment. And she was locked up in her apartment. So, you know, I, I, asked, I told her, I said, if you need water, you need anything, you know, I got you. I'll bring it to you. So that's that's what I did. Brought a whole bunch of water and, you know. <laughs> and you kiss me here. And oh. then you just run. Are you <laughs> yes! So I ran. <laughs> and then I ran away. <laughs> After quarantine. And then he bring me some thumb and something else. And then he just, okay. I asked him, you're not scared? I have COVID. He said, oh, don't worry. And then. Oh, quick story. Wait. I had COVID last year and, it, and I had it for like seven weeks. It really affected me. I got really, really sick with COVID uh, last, uh, yeah, last year or two years ago. I don't remember. I was really sick for seven weeks, seven weeks. I, I lost weight. I was, I was down. Like I was one of those guys that almost, you almost lost me. It was really bad. So what I told her, I said, I don't think I can get COVID anymore. I think after that, I think my, my antibodies are like through the roof, right? So, <laughs> yeah. So that's what I told her. Don't don't worry about it, you know. So <laughs> it's a good excuse. Hey, I would have used it too. Hey, I'm I'm immune to it. I can't get work. it. 
Hey, it worked. Awesome job. Well done, yeah. Alex. Well done. Wish I, I wish I had like a sound effect of people clapping. Well done, Alex. Well done. So great. But you try too hard, like five miles. I didn't try too hard because you're here. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> if I try too hard, it wouldn't work. But who used to always come back? We're going to talk about that? <laughs> no, I'm not coming back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, well, you guys make a great couple. And I think it's the on-screen chemistry that really makes the channel. So keep making videos like that because I think it's just great. But one of the things I want to talk to you about, that. Alex, I think you got a new paddle board recently, right? Oh, Did not recently. Right? Actually, you know, so I think two months or three months into me started making, I think it was like two months into, uh, from the day I started making YouTube videos, I got an email from a paddle board company. And at first, I thought it was a scam because I'm like, I don't even, I think I had like 140 subscribers, right? And the email was like, yeah, we're going to send you a paddleboard if you can review it, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> like, I'm nobody. So I sent, I, I read the email and it didn't read like a scam. So I replied to the company and it was a legit paddleboard company that wanted me to, uh, test a paddleboard and just make a video on my youtube channel i was like oh okay <laughs> so yeah i got a paddleboard like two months into my youtube thing i got a paddleboard for free for me to try it out and unbox it and take it out in the water and all that so yeah wow did YouTube, you take or, like YouTube a video review of that or anything yeah i have a i have a i have a, we had like i think then my first video did, did i make my first video with you for the paddleboard yes oh yeah we actually we made it together our first video, me unboxing the paddleboard, taking it out, and we take it out. We took it out in the back, uh, into the beach and the water. So it was, that was pretty cool. Well, you know, you're not the only one to have you know product endorsements as well. You know, I have one <laughs> with uh, my friend Brent, actually at Town and Country Furniture. Have you heard of this guy? It's great. No, I'm sure you. See, he's great. Brent's great. That's my Is product that Mr. Mitch? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I got to play something, man. I got to act like I'm successful here. Fake sacrifices. <laughs> All right. Hey, but he looks like a nice guy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, furniture. No, that's great. So that's wonderful. So congratulations on that because product placements are huge. That's wonderful. Yeah. No charge. I, I had a few other deal. companies already. I was I was pretty surprised. Like they, I got three other companies. They send us another uh, a little keychain phone holder for the keys. And some uh, they make little things like that trinkets. So they also send me a message and send me an email saying just to you know show show it on my videos every once in a while. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. sure, it's free. Why not? <laughs> So I do, when I was re reviewing your videos online, I saw a lot of great comments around Blue. Like Blue does seem like he's the star of the show. So what I did is I spent a little bit of time yesterday kind of putting together all of Miley's shorts from TikTok, from YouTube shorts. And it was cool for me. I got to tell you, I really struggle with this video, Miley, because you have so many great videos of Blue. It was way too long. I had to cut it down, cut it down. I think I sent you a copy of like the full video. Please check that out at your leisure. But I made a shorter video that kind of shows Blue progressing from little puppy to an older dog where he is now. So let me play this. We'll be right back. We'll talk about Blue some more.
you okay? Why you sleep like that? Okay, guys, we're back. <laughs> Lou is in the background. Yes, I love that. Miley's got some dance moves, man. You see that? It's good. This is Lou's favorite toy. <laughs> A shoe. No surprise. Ready? Go. I love that dog. So, if anyone wants to see those videos, go to Miley Story on YouTube. Check out her channel. Make sure you subscribe. She no no charge for subscribers. And uh, a lot of great videos like that. And I didn't do it justice. That's a minute and a half of just all the best footage. I feel like Miley's got tons of great videos on there. And funny stuff, too. A little singing as well. <laughs> Good videos. Yeah. So, Alex, one thing I wanted to talk to you about was you had a condo previously. Now you're living in a house. Yes. What? Why did you move from your condo? Why a house? Did Miley tell you, I want a house? Or what, what happened there? You see my eye? I see the, you had a black guy. Miley, just come clean. <laughs> so basically Miley. what happened was Miley and I were staying together in the condo. We lived together in the condo. And uh, she brought it up that she wanted to get a dog, right? I had dogs in the past. I love dogs. So the condo doesn't allow dogs. So we're like, you know what? Let's, let's go look for a house. Stay. A bit, let's look for a bigger apartment or a, a town home or a home or a house, and then wait a couple months, two three months, and then get a dog, right? So we got the house, we got this town home, and within we were here for how long before we got the dog? It was fast. I mean, yeah. we got the town home and within like I don't even know. It was one month, less than a month, probably. Yeah, probably less than a month, and we got the. Uh, we had the dog, yeah. Now, just Malika is saying hello. I don't know if you had a chance to meet Malika, Alex, in Pattaya. No, I have not. Hey, Malika, how you doing? Yeah, uh, saying hello. I'm going to actually spotlight her in the vlogger news segment a little bit later. So stay oh, tuned. Oh, nice. There you Great go. new so vlogger can... I'm spotlighting. Yeah. All right, we, I will hit the subscribe button. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so tell me more about that. So now you're living in a townhome. Do you like it better than your condo? Is it not just the dog thing? You like the extra space? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um now that we have the dog and her and I, you know, are together, we've been together for a while. She got her own little corner. I don't know if you can see the blue light. Yep. She got her own little office. Like this is the lit dining room. And then right there <laughs> going down is a little, a little place where she got her own little setup. Like I do here. So she got her own little office. I got my own little office here. We got upstairs, downstairs, and if I get her, if I get on her nerves, she can run somewhere else. You know, in that, yeah. we're in that little Great. tiny apartment. <laughs> that works out well. Well, especially with yeah. editing, right? You want to kind of have be heads down editing, not distracted. So oh, yeah. it probably works out well. Malika is saying, "I love your guys' energy. Come through." So, thank you, you thank you, Malika. Energy. Yeah, it's great. So it's so interesting because one of the things that I usually don't talk about is visa stuff that's no one's business very personal but you've been very transparent on your channel around what's known as a fight visa so we'd yes. love to just talk to you a little bit about that because you're very transparent in your okay. videos i know you bring it up like no hey, this is what i'm on would you recommend that to other individuals maybe tell us a little bit about what the fight visa is like what is that so basically a, a, a fight visa is basically like an education visa it's the same yeah. thing it's it, it's a visa but it's not <laughs> but it is. It's kind of hard to explain what exactly it is, but it's a legal way for you to stay in Thailand. You either can learn Muay Thai or can learn, a, you can take a self-defense class. And they're offered in Bangkok, Phuket, Chiang Mai, and here in Pattaya. I don't know where else in, Pattaya, in Thailand is offered, but those are the four places that I know of. And also, Chiang Mai is the cheapest one. And then Phuket being the most expensive one. And basically, you once or twice a week, you're either going to take a self-defense class or you're going to uh, train a little bit of Muay Thai and you're going to get a visa. And every three months, 
you go to immigration and get a, get a, another three month extension, and it is a multi entry visa. Wow, sounds great. So you would I recommend that for others? I I I, I mean I'm, I like I'll, I'm I'm a I like to move around. So yeah, uh, if yeah, I recommend it to others. If you if you're under fifty and if you want to stay long term here in Thailand, I I, I would recommend t- and go, taking it. Yeah. Yeah, not too much red tape and stuff to go. It sounds like kind of like a standard process that you go through, huh? No, I got an agent. He takes care of everything. Uh, I don't. I don't do anything. I'll go. I was there last week. I saw that video where me, you went and used an agent, like what half hour, hour to get it all done. That's within half an hour. I went in. We got a little number. We took a picture. We pay. No, we already paid, so we didn't have to pay. So we went there, took a picture. The, the lady took a picture, put me in the computer, told me to come back in two weeks, and I was done within 30 minutes. And there was a line when, oh, we go through the, we don't wait in line also. <laughs> you know, so, yes. Yeah, uh, I bypass that. Oh, exactly. Great. So, yeah. That's great. I, I think everyone should do that, have an agent. But I think one thing I heard you saying, I'm going to have to ask Miley about this because, okay. Miley, I heard <laughs> that Alex, he says, Sheng Mai, right? He says Phuket, right? But I don't think that he says Pattaya, right? How do you yeah. say Pattaya? You say Pattaya or Pattaya or Pattaya? How do you say it? Pattaya. That's it, guys. That's it. One and done. That is how you say Pattaya. Do I say it right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. It right? All right. So you got to get your man, Alex, saying it right. Come on, Alex. You got to say it the Thai way. Pattaya. No, Pat. No, Pat. 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 Pattaya. 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 No ta. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, we're going to practice because we're going to be here for an hour just saying Pattaya. So. <laughs> okay, we got uh, two more minutes. Let's go ahead and practice on live on the air. <laughs> no, it's so great. I, I just, one of the things, I'm sure you get that on your videos, like you're saying it wrong. I, I got that in my video series. You're saying it yeah. wrong. I say it the Thai way. I stand by it. I think Miley says it right. <laughs> She's Thai. Miley's Thai. That's how you say it. <laughs> yeah, she, if she tells you you're right, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I have heard some Thai people say Pattaya. So I've heard them say it differently, but I think the Thai way is Pattaya. So, yeah. <laughs> that's well, that's what I'm know. going with, Alex. It's a very Practice. controversial so next subject. Time, next time we speak, hopefully I said it right. <laughs> so great. So I can't believe how quickly like our time goes by, guys. It's like we're kind of coming to an end here of our time. But I would love to invite you back. I'd love to have you of back course. because you're just so much yes. fun to have on the show. Miley, thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you. Thank, thank you. We got blues. Oh, blues Trying down there? Going through our legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. So anyone that wants to go to their channel, please, Miley Story on YouTube. Check it out. Jiu-Jitsu Passport on YouTube. Channel's blowing up. This 100K channel. Alex, you got... Like oh, wow, thank you, videos, wow, so. thank you so much. Yeah. yeah, great. And Miley, are you on TikTok as well? What's your handle on TikTok? Is it Miley Story too? On you want to show it? You want to show it? Yes. Hurry up. <laughs> Gator Jake saying, my wife pronounces Pattaya the same way as Miley. I love that. Got a there you go. job. Dave saying, good job, guys. Oh, I, can, I can say it. Here, one of the most energetic interviews ever. Great, y'all. <laughs> oh, this oh. is Miley here. Mm-mm. Go back. I'm, I'm not an iPhone guy. That's an I iPad. always like to promote other people's socials, so that's why I asked that there. All right, let's see. Miley on TikTok. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's uh, H-M-A-Y-20. Got that, moderators? For a little, I think that's what it is. All right, we'll go with that. It's got a little screenshot. Okay, Everyone wants to go there. <laughs> yeah, it's working yes all right cool yeah. good hey so thanks so much for coming on the show love it love to have you back at a future date alex thank you for awesome. having us. thank you for letting me put together those funny videos of you oh <laughs> yeah. thank you for the great videos man. they're great we love them thank you so much great we do. You're welcome back anytime miley you look beautiful as always and i look to talk to you thank at some you point so much. in the future have a great night you guys bye Sweaty cop. I'm not handsome. How I could be. You're pretty good yourself, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, guys. Thank you. What? I don't understand. What is that? What? But Miley said, no.
She wanted to try it. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Pop it See? in. Pop. <laughs> Pop. So thank you to Miley and Alex for coming on the show today. I thought it was just a great interview with them. So energetic and just a great bunch of people there. So thank you for coming on the show today. Really appreciate that. Got the passports up back on the overlay here. I guess I'll have to take those off when I have guests on kind of encroaches in the, in all the guests. So keep that in mind. I want to tell you, it is time for intermission. Yes. So going to take a quick 60 second break. Then we're going to pivot around to vlogger news. And guess who's coming on Vlogger News with me? Life After Kids with Key Williams. So you might know Key's story if you're a follower of hers. She left the U.S., sight unseen, came to Thailand and retired in Thailand. She has since spent probably over a year in Thailand and now is back in San Diego in America. So I want to talk to her a little bit about that because it was quite a controversial subject. But uh, we're going to take a quick little intermission. Then we'll pivot over to Vlogger News and we'll be right back in about... 60 seconds and here we go. See you guys back in about 60 seconds. We're back. So great show today so far. I really loved having Alex and Miley on the show. Miley's great. So much energy. Looked very beautiful today as well. Alex, not so much. That's okay. <laughs> Just kidding, Alex. You look great. Um, but thank you for kind of giving me a free hand to do all the editing for the videos. See, I like making kind of joke videos and he was game for it. So I appreciate that. I'm putting in the scrolling banner there all the upcoming guests that we have coming on the show. So if you're if you're not subscribed to Richard Travel, please, I ask for your consideration in subscribing. I'm about 48 subscribers away from 10,000. We're going to have a big uh, show when we hit the 10,000 mark. So hopefully you'll consider subscribing. If not, we have a lot of great guests that are coming up. So the time has come for Vlogger News. And I got to tell you, I've been a little stressed out leading up to this because our guest of the hour, Key Williams have a little bit of trouble with her uh, laptop computer. Makes me a little stressed out. Key, you know, So you might notice like the video I played in the very beginning of the show with the green screen crashing down, that was prior to my pre-interview with Key. So I don't know what's going on with Key. She's bringing bad luck to the show. I don't know. Got to get some, like a Thai monk to come in here, like, you know, make this all good again. Get some good chi in here. But anyways, guys, let's stay on topic here. Vlogger news intro is coming up. We're going to run through vlogger news with my best friend in the world, Key Williams. But let's play the Vlogger News intro first. When it's done playing, we'll have Key in the live show. 
Hello, this is Mr. Egg from the Papataya, and this is Vlogger News on the Risha Travel Live Show. Richard, can you hear me? I can hear you pretty good, Key. Oh, my can you God. Can hear me okay? Yes, it, it, it couldn't have been worse time. This hotel rebooted the system, and <laughs> I, I'm going to have to do it on my phone like this, so I hope that's not a problem. Well, Key, you look beautiful. You look beautiful oh, on your phone. Gosh, this is that. What it couldn't trooper. have been worse timing. <laughs> well, thanks for all the positive energy, Key. Appreciate it. Pleasure as always talking to you. Uh, <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> just Boy. It's Vlogger News Time. I'm so excited to talk to you today. Thank you for making time to come on the show. You're joining Absolutely. us from San Diego, California. Cali, yes. as locals say, right? Yes. What's the weather like nice. there? Beautiful morning? It is beautiful here. I'm trying to get that ugly background. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're good. You're good. Looks good. Yeah, oh. lighting is good. You're looking beautiful as always, Keith. So, okay, thank, thank you. you Sa joining. Same to you. Right back at you, Richard. <laughs> well, now I know you're lying. I'm going to take a little screenshot. That's when Key lies. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So vlogger news time. I'm so excited to run this through, run through this with you because one of the channels I'm going to focus on first, guess what is yours. So oh, leaving cool. Thailand time to go. Great video that you had where you were in Pattaya. Miley says it yeah. Pattaya. So we're going to say it that Pattaya. way. You can, you can say however you want. Well, that's but how I thought I it was. It. Yeah. And you're saying it the right way. Keep at it. I love the video because you basically said, hey, listen, so when I do come back to Thailand, and you're coming back, um, Pattaya is one of the areas you may consider. So yes. I'd love to, why is that? Because a lot of people think Pattaya is just like Las Vegas. You just come in there, you know, Sin City, all the nightlife mm -hmm. stuff. But people don't know, great boat tours leaving there, beautiful yeah. area, a lot of great stuff, right? Yeah, because I when, before I came to Thailand, I, I heard all those negative things too. And, you know, if you've never been anywhere, you kind of hold that a little bit, you know, and you take it to heart a little bit. But um, once I got there, I realized that stuff is there, but there's so much more. And then it's yeah. a lot less hectic than Bangkok. So, yeah. yeah. And I made a video about that comparing, uh, you know, Thailand to Las Vegas. Richard returns to Thailand, Vegas versus Thailand. And I think the same thing applies for Pattaya in that it's got the nightlife, but it's also got a lot of great stuff to do during the daytime as well. So oh, yeah. I, I was so glad to see that as well, that you were kind of profiling, like, this is a place I may end up. For me, I think Pattaya, maybe Jom Tien is more the place for me. Like, yeah, same. Nice beaches there. Yeah, same for same. you. Same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how's yeah. Charles doing? He's back to work? Yeah, he's back, back to, to work. Back to the grind? He's, he's loving it, though. He, I mean, you know, he thrives off of that. Yeah. So, I'll, I'll let so, him have that. <laughs> yeah. Love Charles. I love seeing Charles more on camera. I feel like he's become a little bit more relaxed with it all. Yeah, I think everybody yeah. loves seeing Charles. I told him, I said, you're trying to take over, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, maybe he is. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. So yeah, so it's a great video you have. I wanted to play a little short clip of this video so everyone can see what you're all about on your channel because I love it. You came on the show when you're early on in your career and I love profiling it. I'm going to profile it once again right now. <laughs> Thailand, I will tell you, Pattaya is probably going to be uh, one of the cities that we look at staying for a while because there's a lot to do down here. It's by the water as well as being close to boats that you can go to different islands. So definitely we'll be looking at Pattaya if we come back down to, well, if we come back to Thailand anytime soon. doesn't um, land this drone on my head. Um, we are waiting for James and Bob. They're going to come out here and hang out with us for a little bit. And we're all going to have dinner tonight. Uh, we'll have Mitch and Dow and 
James Fa and, and um, Mike and Nicole. So we're gonna have a good time, our last time. So, Key, I owe you a bit of an apology because I sort of modified your intro a little bit with the woman screaming. No, that that's perfectly fine. Look, I was oh. so caught up in. <laughs> oh man, I was worried. I was worried. No, you thought I, I thought was. Like he was going to come back. Yeah, how dare you edit my intro? It needed a little something, a little kick up there, Keisha. So yeah. put a little woman screaming in there. Sounds yeah. just like you. Yeah, that's me all the time. <laughs> Charles will tell you. <laughs> so going Grays was asking, did the kids stay in Thailand? Is it okay to ask uh, that? The off yes. limits? Yeah. No, no, no. They just don't stalk them. But um, <laughs> no, yeah, they're, they're still there. But when I go back to Thailand next month, uh, they're going to be coming back with us. You know, I, we've got three daughters and the middle one, she she's not ready to, to detach from me yet. And I'm not really ready for her to detach either. She is, you know, but I love having my babies with me. Oh, I bet. Yeah, I bet. So it's interesting because one of the vloggers I'm going to spotlight today, we talked about this a couple of days ago, is Malika on the move. She's in oh, the live yeah. chat and we're going to actually talk a little bit about her because, wow. So new vlogger for me to check out, you know her very well. So for yes. those that might not be familiar with Malika on the move on YouTube, she sold everything in America and relocated to Bangkok. Her vlogs are daily life in Thailand and Southeast Asia as well. Vietnam, Philippines, all over the place. Oh, yeah. She's looking to grow that channel just like you did, Key. So yeah. at 452 now, but sky's the limit for this girl. I'll tell you, she, her videos look great. Yeah, Malika's awesome. She really is. And um, we we clicked right from the beginning, you know, and, and that's not that's not the norm for me because I like I said, I I'm more uh guys are usually my best friends. It's just like that. But Malika, she is so down to earth. She's exactly what you see on the videos is what you get. She's hilarious. But yeah. one thing about Malika, she's so smart. She's very knowledgeable. And she's, unlike me, she'll take time to research these things. And she explains everything on her videos. And I kind of make jokes with her about it. Because I, when you see me on a video, I'm like, oh, look, that's so nice. You know, but Malika... <laughs> Malika will, you know, go into detail and explain everything to you. She's got great videos, and I really hope you guys support her. Yeah, you got to that next level, Key. Now you're like, just forget it. Just say it's very nice and move on. Next <laughs> shot. Moving on. No. Next shot. Cue the music. No, I'm just, I'm just lazy. I don't want to do all that research, you know. <laughs> well, how's it been going on your channel? Like, you got a lot of subscribers now. You're really taking off. Are you happy with that growth? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm definitely happy with it because I, I have, I heard Alex say in one of his videos, he's got the best subscribers. I have to challenge him on that because my subscribers are amazing. I mean, literally when I'm reading the comments, I'm almost in tears for most of them. They are so, so kind. And I really appreciate that. Yeah, those are the best. I mean, talk about making your day. Sometimes when I'm really tired after doing like a big video editing session, I'll come across one of those comments. And, and you know the ones I'm talking about where it's like a paragraph or two long, like calling out like little special things in your video that you did that you thought no one else saw. And mm -hmm. wow, that really just kind of gives me the energy to keep going. Yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you probably agree, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. So Malika's on the move herself. I think that channel is going to start growing as long as we start getting the audience for her. I think she yeah. needs some more exposure, right? Yeah, I definitely do. I hope you guys at least just take a look at the channel and and see her. She's like I said, she doesn't put on any airs. You know, she's not trying to be an actor or anything. And she's just who she is. And she is really, really an awesome person. So hopefully you guys will take a look at her channel. Yeah, thanks, Brock, for posting the uh, link to her channel. And the reason I wanted to kind of publicize the channel, not so much a particular video, is because she's done videos all over the world. So Vietnam, Philippines, Thailand, there's something for everyone in there. And oh, yeah. I just think they're great videos, like you say, very down to earth. And she's very big on explaining things. So I love yeah. that about those videos. And yeah. Lika's saying, I hope so. Our channel is going to grow <laughs> like crazy. I think that's the best time, right, Keisha? When you're looking back at your channel, wasn't it the best time when you were smaller, just kind of starting to get a little bit of growth, getting a couple of views? That's the best it, time. It really is because you, you, I was almost excited that anybody would even want to look at my channel, you know? So to see people looking at the channel and engaging with me, I, I just love it. Yeah. I'll tell you, my first live stream I did, Keisha, I had seven people in the live chat and then I lost internet about 20 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> 
so abruptly ended. Yeah, it was great. Great start. But that yeah. was, you know, many years ago. But you live and learn, right? That's right. <laughs> but, That's so, right. Yeah, Malika's given us the heart there. So, yeah, I would say just please, I can't say enough good things about this channel. It's really wonderful. But I wanted to kind of move on a little bit. So no time to be sad. Our mutual friend, Chuck, and you actually met his mom, Kara, right? When you oh, were, yeah. when he was in Bangkok. Did oh, a couple yeah. of videos with you in there. A little cameo role with the famous key. Oh, you're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I feel yeah. like his videos here are really good because this one in particular is this really a doctor. He's talking about his mom post-surgery. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to call out the playlist because he actually has a playlist that's titled Life Starts at 70. It's got all the videos of his mom moving over from America to Thailand and all the trouble that she's going through and all the great things that she's seeing as well. So I know you've appreciated that video series. What, what are you getting the most out of it? Like just the the difficulty she's kind of overcoming in her journey? Yeah. So I think um, with Mama Kara, she's, um, you know, it's a big transition for anybody, uh, younger people, older people, but especially for older people to come to a whole nother country. And I think she's doing it honestly with grace because for someone in her 70s to leave the U.S., that's all she's known as far as living. She's traveled uh, plenty of places, but to, to move, pack up and move to a whole nother country, she's amazing. You know, I admire her a lot. She's such a sweetheart. And I mean, she's so sweet. She really is. She's huggable. But yeah. she's doing, I think she's doing it with grace. Like she's, she's all in for suggestions and she's easy to talk to. So I think Chuck, Chuck's got a winner right there. Yeah, I think she's great. I love watching videos with her in there. Also, I like the videos that Chuck does with not doing that. So if you're oh, listening, yeah. Chuck, I like your other videos too. But I particularly <laughs> like this series. It really talks about the challenges that Kara's had sort of overcoming yeah. and coming to a foreign country. But to your point, she's tough. So she seems very nice, but she's a tough woman too. She's oh, been yeah. around the block. She's been to other countries. She knows what she's doing. So she loves oh, yeah. input, but also she's like, I got this. Yeah, I, I like kind of get that sense from her. Is that kind of how she is? Like, thank you, but like, I'm pretty tough as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could see that in his uh, series before he brought her over, his little boot camp for her. Yeah. You know, <laughs> he's got her out there walking, you know, made, put me to shame. So, you know, she, he's got her walking all over the place and she's just doing it in stride. So, yeah, I feel yeah. like he's just doing some great videos. I mean, his his channel continues to grow. He's at 70,000 subscribers. I think yeah. it's just a matter of time before he gets the 100K silver oh, play yeah. button. Hopefully I'm over there then so I can actually go to his house and check it out. Because, <laughs> yeah, and he's been doing it for years. So he's one of the first guys I listened to on YouTube. Really loved his videos back when he's riding the bicycle and vlogging mm -hmm. on the bicycle. That's a great man. Yeah. Just honest feedback from him. That's what I love the most It's just the honest yeah. feedback and commentary. Yeah, yeah. Chuck's, Chuck's got an awesome channel. I mean, it's just nice to watch somebody yeah. just, you know, he's in his own element and he's not trying to put on a show for you. He's just doing his thing. And it's it's exciting to watch Chuck's channel. Yeah. And I've had the pleasure of being on a couple of live stream panels with Chuck where like Chuck says, hello to you. He's very nice. Just down to earth. He's been on this show a couple of times. And uh, yeah, just like nice guy. Like, yeah. I love that. Like he's willing to help out others. That's cool oh, what yeah. I get from Chuck. So yeah, yeah he's wonderful. he's cool. He's real. He's a smooth cat. Chuck is real cool. All right, enough about Chuck. Chuck's got <laughs> seventy thousand subscribers. Enough about yeah. Chuck. Let's yeah. go. Someone needs our help. Gotta love oh, yeah. Thailand, Dave. Oh man, love this guy up in Sarin. So Dave's doing these weekly live streams. He's doing about three a week with panel mm -hmm. guests. So he'll yeah. send out the link. You can come on the live show. You can like chop it up with them a little bit. You know, chit chat. Yeah. That kind of I love that kind of thing. And then he's also doing the, uh, vlogs, daily life in Surin about yeah. his new home, including the Koi Pond he has. So have you yeah. checked out that channel? Of course. Dave, Dave yeah. you know, Dave is one of those guys, like I have never met him personally, but I just know I know him, you know? Yeah. And yeah, he's, he's really cool. And you know what would make his channel even better? If I was That's on here. one of his live streams. Oh, there, you go. <laughs> there we go. Bam. Drop the bomb. Drop the mic. <laughs> That's so great. Yeah, I think you should totally do it because now, oh, you know, yeah. you're back in America, it's good. It's a good time for you probably. I think it's like 6 p.m. your local time. Now we're on the no. same time zone, Key. That, yeah, no, no. When, when he does the live show. He's, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, right. yeah right. Not, not now. <laughs> That'd be a little weird. Actually, it's, you know, 9 a.m. my time. Where are you at? <laughs> same place. Yes. Yeah. Same place. Yeah. No, I love his channel. He's doing some great things. Talk about yeah. a groundswell. 
So he's got a great community. Started off very mm-hmm. small, a couple people coming in the chat. Um, he's been on here to kind of run through when he hit a thousand subscribers. He's taken off since then. Um, and he's doing some great things. So I can't profile him enough. He's going to be on the show on, you're going to laugh, Keith, uh, for the Christmas show. Because he kind of oh, looks wow. like Santa, Santa Claus, Claus a little bit with yeah. that big beard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I got him to commit. I'm like, got to have him on the show. So he's coming on for the Christmas show. We may have him come on before then run through Vlogger News just to get people familiar with the channel. But yeah, some great videos there. And Dave, now definitely it falls in your court. You got to invite Keisha to one of your panel there you live go, streams. Dave. There you, you heard go. it first here live on the Richard Travel Channel. Oh, I love that. I'm going to take that <laughs> clip and use it in next week's intro. <laughs> <laughs> Kisha's like, you can't use my stuff. That's me talking. I'll copyright nah. myself. <laughs> no, nah. you go right ahead, Richard. Only you, though. <laughs> I love it. So one of my favorite channels, they're coming on actually next week, Flora and Note. Shang Mai's best kept secret. Why is nobody here? They have about 64,000 subscribers. Great video. I think yeah. all their videos are great. Note and Flora do a great job on that channel. Have you had a chance to kind of check out one or two of their videos? I have, I have. They they are such a cute couple. They are just so cute. Yeah, yeah. they're so yeah. sweet and kind to each other, and I like that. Yeah, it's so funny. So I learned a lot about how to speak Thai properly from Note and Flora. Um, one of the first shows they came on, they kind of showed me how to pronounce like the island. How do you say island in Thai? And so I was saying Ko. It's more like Gat Gat Samui. Gat, Gat yeah, Samui. So learned that. I kind of challenged them a lot, a little bit about that, like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you sure it's that? Uh, yeah, they speak Thai. I'm pretty sure they know what they're talking about. So, yeah, it was kind of embarrassing yeah. now looking back on that. <laughs> Wish I had not challenged them on how to say Kosamui. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure you're not the first or the last. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, great videos on that channel. I'm looking forward to having them back because like you said, they're just nice people. They're really, really mm-hmm. supportive of this channel. And I can't say enough great things about their videos, like the drone footage, the pans, the zooms, the edits, super crisp. And oh, they yeah. always choose interesting music. You know, yeah. that's one thing I think they and you have in common, Key. Like, you choose some really cool music in your videos. Do you really labor with that a little bit? Um, no, I'm just a cool kind of person, you know. Comes, I'm just <laughs> I mean, the music is, is stressful because, you know, you want to use popular music, but yeah. you can't, you know, because I... There's so many there's so many songs out now that I just love, and I would love to have them on my channel, but, you know, we can't do that, so... You know, you got to search. Ryan's Adventures says, I just realized you have two Thailand vloggers doing a live show from California. <laughs> there <laughs> well, you go. Yeah. yeah, it's it's bizarro world right now, guys. It's bizarro world. It's so we're, funny. we're Thai at heart. Yeah, exactly. So I'd say check out that channel. They're going to be on next week. So I'm excited to have them back on the channel. And then a new vlogger for me. So one I've just kind of discovered was this one named Sky Samuels. The video I saw recently was didn't expect this in Langawi, uh, luxury in Malaysia. It's got 15,000 subscribers, great channel. And what it's really about is this is kind of the description of Sky's channel. Since packing Sky's bags, bikinis, and her boyfriend, Charlie, she's been traveling the world and making vlogs full time. The goal of the channel is to document as much of her travels as possible. So great videos. Now she's got like screen presence. Well, wow, like she lights up the video. It's amazing. I sometimes come across that when I watch videos. I'm like, wow, this person's a star. Like I get that from these videos. Like she's really and the video editing is crisp, great music, great timing. I feel like, Key, that's a lot of it. It's just kind of not slowing things down too much in the videos, keeping it moving. Do you sort of have that sense in your head? Like I got to speed it up. It's a little slow. Yeah, I'm learning how to do that because some of my first videos, they were they were horrible. Like it's just like bo- when I would go back and look at them, I'm like boring. But you know, it, it comes with time. Some people have it naturally. I mean, I'm 52. I never thought I'd ever be doing YouTube. So this is this is still new to me. So you know, it's a learning process. But yes, the the quicker the videos go, the more you keep people's attention. So I haven't heard of her, uh, but I'm gonna have to check her channel out. Yeah, I'll say check it out. Everyone, please check it out because it looks like it's a really cool channel. A lot of great videos in there. I'm trying to have her on the show. It might be sort of tough with the time change, this kind of stuff, but trying to get her on the show because I love her channel. I want to talk to her a little bit about that. And one of the things you mentioned, Key, is like, you know, starting up a YouTube channel. It's interesting for me because when I first had you on the show, when I reached out to you, you're like, well, I don't really know if I'm doing this for real. This is kind of like just for my kids and stuff. And it's after you came on the show, you saw the support you had in the chat. And did you start to think like, 
wow, this is pretty nice. I think I'm going to try doing this full time. Yeah, I mean, I honestly have to attribute a lot of that to James because he was so encouraging. Like, I mean, he's just he's an awesome person all the way around, but he was encouraging. And like when you got that got him to do that little clip for me, I was like, yes, I cannot quit now. You know? Yeah, yeah, I, that was big for me. I think that's when I hit a point in the live show where I really started to appreciate what I had, like that I could reach out to a vlogger like James from Chocolate Man in Thailand and have him record like a motivational, inspirational video for oh, you yeah. that like took you to the next level. You're like, I'm going to stay after this. And then you guys became yeah. friends and yeah. you're on each other's videos and stuff. I just love to see that. And that's where I feel like the show is bigger than just me. I'm just trying to get people together. <laughs> yeah. And you did, you did it, you know, because we are, we're good friends now. And like he and my husband are good friends. I mean, it's just, it's, it, it turned out to be so awesome. And that trip we went on, you know, I told you before, I was I was a little scared to go on that trip with all of them at first because I was like, oh, my God, what if I get out there and I don't like any of them? <laughs> 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 then I'm stuck. But, you know, great group of people. We all became friends. It was awesome. So, yeah, you, you are bringing people together, Richard. I appreciate that. Thank you, Key. And I want to thank you for coming on the live show to run through Vlogger News. It's so cool to have like a guest host with me to kind of run through and the Vlogger News. Anytime, okay. anytime. Great. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. Please give your regards to Charles. Tell him we all said hello. Keep I up the great that. videos. We're looking forward to the next one. Coming soon, maybe, Key? Yeah, coming soon. I'm just, on. Yeah, I've been running around so much, so I'm trying to get it together. So, guys, hang in there. I'll, be, I'll have it out there soon. <laughs> all right. Well, Key, thanks for coming on. We're going to wrap this up and uh, have a great rest of your day. You do the same. Take care. Thailand Rob here, and that's all this week in Vlogger News. Please return your seats and tray tables to their upright position, and thank you for flying Recharge Travel. That was great having Key on. I really appreciate having someone to run through the vlogger news. And I'd love to make that a recurring thing. So if you're a uh, you know, YouTube vlogger, you like to kind of come on and draw attention to your show, please send me an email at reshardtravel at gmail.com. Happy to sort of take into consideration and have you on the show and kind of run through the vlogger news. And guess what? If you come on, we get to profile your channel first. So I'd love to do that. Please reach out to me via email. And that would be great. Brock is saying the only one to worry about on a trip is Mr. Mitch. I know I've heard things about him. Um, and then get her Jake saying hell of a vlogger news segment, Keisha. That's great. Keisha made it right. It's all about Keisha. She does a great job on her videos and really is just wonderful to have on the show and chocolate man in Thailand, giving us a little smile there. I appreciate that. So I got to tell you next week's guest, Flora note, really excited to have them on the show. Um, I think this is going to be their third or fourth appearance. I think it's their fourth appearance. So I'm really excited to have them back. Um, and then we have some guests. So I think we have Lucas from Rides for Kicks coming on the following week. So really excited to have more vloggers coming on the show. And I would say just please, if you're thinking about, uh, you know, watching more videos of mine, I have a whole video series called Richard Returns of Thailand. You can check it out. Nice edited videos, 10 part series. You can also show up back on the live show. But please, I would say consider subscribing and I'll see everyone on the next live show. Goodbye, everybody. So a toast for Richard being back. Yes. Ah, well, you, you're so great. Hey, but, but wait, I gotta, I gotta say, I gotta say hi to mother first. So hi, Richard's mom. Is San Jose Sharks? Is that where you most enjoyed yourself outside of Toronto? You know the story. I told that story two hours ago. How do you know this? I, I do my research, Chris. I don't know if you can see that there. That, that dance is horrifying. Please never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Rich? What are you doing? Excuse me, guys. Got little technical problems. I think I missed your energy the last couple months. Nice you give me that energy, Richard. You're so much fun to talk with. <laughs> I think she did. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh my god. <laughs> my heart <laughs> melting. <laughs> little throwback. It's all yeah, good. Throwback, but we're letting yeah. it go. Hey, I see you guys. How are you doing? <laughs> and Rick Ford. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Every time I see that video, I think, man. Sounds good. Not now. Not now.